Jo. I don't know how loud that is. Uh, welcome, Walk X to the stream. Thanks for the follow, by the way. The alert didn't come up on stream. It's um, I I'm just trying to move the alerts to the actual intros so they come up there as well. But thank you for the follow. Do appreciate it. I did get it through the sound, through the TV, very loud, and it scared the crap out of me. So you can at least take some solace in that. Uh, yeah, that microphone is way too loud. Let's turn that down. Welcome Cider and Aurorus as well. The stream, hope you're both doing okay. Uh, so actually I'm just going to move the transform. So that should be 10 and then 1070. Nope, that's apparently not correct. From the center? No. God damn it. I don't remember how I bloody did the alerts now. Uh, transform. You know, just copy the transform and then paste it on this one. And that should just work. There we go. Okay. So now, if I exit studio mode, if I go to... I'm just going to live test this. Hope you don't mind. Why did that load the pop shop? I want Firefox. What are you doing? Force quit that. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Hang on one second. Go to... Be... Content? Yeah, be content. Go here. Welcome Unicorn to the stream. Hope you're doing okay. I'll uh, go to Twitch. Welcome Jackster to the stream. Yeah, I use Firefox because uh, I like it. <laughs> Basically. Uh, oh God, is it the alert box? It is. If I test the follow. Hey, it works like it does normally. And it actually appears. There we go. Sweet. I'll turn that down so it's not deafening. <laughs> and then uh, close that and switch to the... Uh, close that Firefox. There we go. And then move this over. Hang on. And then switch to the stream. Here we are. Why is that? It's bright. Wow. Oh, all right. Oh. Big ol' hug. Yeah, Unicorn, there is somewhat of a uh, of a rate limiter on it. So that follow notification just didn't come through. Actually, I just realised I might actually have to move the intro one down. Uh, because... Uh, for the alerts... Thanks for the host, uh, WarkX. Do appreciate it. If I edit the transform and then push that, that's going up. So if I push that down, there we go. Because on the intro, there's no border. There we go. Cool. That's fine, new. Right. You had your name and nothing after it. Uh, there's a rate limiter on the follow. So although it came up on my activity feed, it didn't come up on the stream. Oh, assuming I'm using Pop OS. Uh, myself. So I'll launch that uh, CD data slash programs, Cabra, GitHub, Pygame tutorial. I think. Nope. No, that's not it. It's programs GitHub Cabra Pygame tutorial. There we go. <laughs> Got there in the end. And the activity feed is fixed, so it's no longer duplicating anything. Hey. Of course, Jax. Pop OS a Linux distro. Yeah, it's it's based on Ubuntu. It, uh, it's basically Ubuntu, but better. Pretty much. Is the idea. <laughs> so if I just move that over there, because we need that. Bring this here. 
push the size up, move it over. And um, so last time we actually made a lot of progress. Yeah, I, I really like it. You can hug everyone with a big old hug. The, the command you hug individually, the channel points you hug everyone. Just how it works. <laughs> uh, so, hang on, I need to make the screen brighter. So we made quite a lot of progress in the last stream. We um, we pretty much went from not having anything on the screen at all to having a fully working game of Snake, pretty much. Uh, so I'll quickly just go in and uh, show that off. Partly so I remember where we were, and partly uh, for the people that weren't here to see it before. Oh yeah, that's true. It's a fully working game with Snack. <laughs> well, I say fully working. The keyboard stuff is a bit weird at the moment, but we can probably try and fix that. As you can see, we have a game of Snack where we can move, or a game of Snack where we can move our Snack here. Uh, we can eat the app when it moves. We can uh, wrap around the screen. It gets faster as we get longer. Uh, my computer goes nuts every time it tries to run it. <laughs> it's not amazing optimized. Uh, well, it, uh, there'll be a video series on it. And then, yeah, it'll be fully open source. Uh... So the code we're doing as streams won't be, but after the videos, after the video series happens, then yeah, it will be uh, it will be fully open source. So as you can see, it, yeah, it works pretty well. And then uh, if we want to end the game, we can just die. <laughs> well, this stream is mainly going to be the UI. Uh, Welcome Doge to the stream, hope you're doing okay. So we're mainly going to be the, uh, doing the UI today, I think. Yeah, fans do go burr whenever it runs a poor game. Um, I don't really know what the best way of doing the UI is, because we currently have this scene that kind of controls everything that happens here. But I don't know whether to put the UI in here or have like a UI handler that kind of does everything. I mean, in theory, we would want to like do UI components here. So I suppose we would have a, f a new file called UI.py. I'm spit. <laughs> There's no point in changing the variable name. I mean, having the file name of the as a funny joke works. Um, but having the variable name is just not. Plug on my phone is to charge. It's got 83%. I don't really need to do that. It would just yeet my portable charger across the room. Cool. <laughs> I am careful with my stuff. All right, that goes over there. So, um,. We need to at least have a class for, for text. Because there's going to be like a lot of stuff we need to do with text. We're just going to pass that for now. And I don't know if we need a class for like UI specifically. We'll put it here for now and we'll see if we want like a like a UI manager or something. Oh, the string. Uh, yeah, that could work. So I thought you meant the variable name. Well, I don't. I'm not gonna have the speed. I'm gonna have the score. Uh, so it'd be it'd be the score, and then actually, yeah, that's pretty much all it's gonna be. <laughs> it's just going to be the score. I think maybe a picture of an apple or something. I don't know. Is there, is there like any other? Is there anything else we would need to put on there? Screw. How long have we been doing Python? A little over six years, I think. 
Most of my knowledge I acquired in the last two. <laughs> really. Um, so. But yeah. Says Spetsker. What is says? Sker snack apple. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, size. I see. I did wonder. We could have all those things. That'd be pretty fun. I think a lot of them. Um... Oh, the speed is just a size plus 10. The score is the size minus two. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Uh, very, yeah, it's, it's just going to be strange. <laughs> it's going to be a very strange game. Um, so, the text, I do... Let me see if I can find my... Uh, no, I don't want the Twitch chat open. I already have the Twitch chat. My word. Says class are done. A few days ago, we were told to make a game, knots and crosses, put a single lesson. <laughs> huh, interesting. Yeah, big bro. Uh, I'm going to try and find like a previous text class I'd already come up with. I got No, not social blow. I hope it's. <laughs> I'm a B minus. The channel's a B minus now. Holy crap. Look at that. <clears throat> I got a B minus on social play. Also known as B movie. Sorry. <laughs> Had to. Uh, where is this damn thing? Stream intro. It's probably here. Because uh, I would have done it being here. Yes, it is in here. Okay. My words. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff. <clears throat> this plus. Let me turn the brightness of the tablet up so I can actually see what the hell's going on. Yeah, it's just gonna, it's just going to be typo to all hell. Plus plus e. Uh, so we've got the text, so yeah, so we need the actual text itself, or the, I guess the body, uh, the x and y positions, then we're not going to bother setting the font in here, we are going to put the size in here, and we are going to put the colour in here as a tuple, uh, we're going to set it as white by default. And we're going to pass in a series of quags. <coughs> uh, so, I mean, for anyone wondering, by the way, I'm using this. So this is a class that I kind of came up with <laughs> while I was trying to do something else. Um, so you have all this crap here. We, we don't really need the image class, to be honest. Um... This is sort of the text class I'm going for. So you have the text here. So you just have um, a... Self oh yeah, it's a, it's a list of things. Because it needs that to be a thing. Uh, the size, the colour. Then it has a renderer here. Um, which we really need to cache it. Otherwise, the rendering text is slow as all hell. Thanks, Unicorn. Oh, crypto mine until I get 60 cent. And I'll commit to subscribe to your Twitch channel. Thank you. Um, I do appreciate it, my dude. Uh, so self dot size equals size. And then the self dot. Why am I doing that here? I could just do. Uh, if size is less than one, then uh, we're. You know, we'll. We won't bother doing all that. We'll keep it a bit more simple. So self dot oops uh, self dot text equals 
text.split by new line. So you can just pass in new lines and it will handle that for you. Uh, self.color equals pygame.color.color. Of course, it's the American. <laughs> because that's not confusing at all. <laughs> Uh, look, I'm going to have one British spelling of it in there ago. RTX 2060, my god. Then there's me with my 1050 Ti. <laughs> uh, self font equals pi game. Actually, I'm not taking an argument for this. So dot font dot font. And then we've got to work out what font we want to use for this, really. Um... I was also the small issue we're going to have to have a UI like bar across the top, uh, but I think we'll think of that a bit later, and we'll do super dot init uh, x y and then quarks. Actually, we're not we're, yeah we're not supering anything, so we don't need that actually. Uh, the font we need the assets we need fonts in here. So. Here's a big question. What fonts do I actually have installed on this thing? I'm pretty sure I only have programmer fonts installed on this. <laughs> uh, so we're going to have a look. So we've got a lot of JetBrains stuff. We've got a lot of JetBrains. This operator mono that I was going to use for a bit and then didn't. Oh, we do actually have Moonflower. That could work. So yeah, well, I guess we'll use Moonflower. Uh, so we need uh, assets fonts dot what's it called uh, moon flower dot ttf and then uh we'll just have size yeah I use JetBrains right now. Rave why uh Rave Party wide is the one that I use for the Carbo logo. So if I bring up, if I try and find like that, wherever the hell that would be, it'd be here, in here, and it'd be in here, then repository, then word marks. This is that font, so not particularly good for a, a game. I'm pretty sure I told you I use JetBrains. I've been using JetBrains every single stream. How have you not realized this? <laughs> uh, we'll stick with Moonflower for now, and then we'll maybe think of a different font later. But Moonflower—I believe Moonflower is non-commercial. Actually, it doesn't matter because we're using it in our open source project. So, I, th I think Moonflower work. It's pretty much what Bubber as you uses, except it uses a slightly customized version. I think. Uh, so we need the text being at self and in return um, so this is if we actually want the text back as a raw string and if we want to change the text uh, then we can do that here uh, self value and then we want to do self dot text equals value dot split um, that and then we need to modify the size uh, self and then we have return self dot size and then actually we don't need this if, if we're not doing any error handling we don't actually need this as a property so I can't really be asked to do any error handling. <laughs> uh, so we don't need that. We do need the text because we need to do stuff. We do need the color as it as well. So property def uh, color self. Whoops. And then return self dot color. And then color dot setter def color self value. And then self dot color equals pi game dot color dot color value Whew. 
some free Dogecoin. I think you do a video on ELLang, probably at some point in the future. I mean, I've done a video on SQL, which is technically a different language, so. <laughs> Uh, and then finally, we need our renderer. Uh, so how do we do? So we had so we're not using okay, we're not using the image. I really need to look up what uh, this drawable ABC is. Oh god, yeah, I forgot I had all this like really complicated stuff in here. God, this is like a crazy thing I was trying to do. I remember now. So you have the renders, so yeah, we need... So we need our renders. The render was this just non implemented? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Don't need that. I don't know if we're going to want to handle alignments. I guess we'll see uh, at some point. Okay, Self that renders not clear to begin with. Uh, so for I line in enumerate self.text because Python. Um, Sorry, Pygame doesn't support backslash n, so we do actually need to draw it on separate lines. Rewrote it from scratch. Rewrote what? Donation is greatly appreciated. No, it's um, it's Pygame. Sorry. So yeah, the surface equals self dot font dot render. Does this do caching automatically? I actually don't know. I don't know if I even bothered with the caching system. Oh, this did have an alignment, okay. Yeah, we'll take an alignment. Uh, align equals Top left. Whoops. And then we'll have a self dot self dot align equals align. Yeah, this thing doesn't have caching, so I'm gonna have to go back and try and find where that was. Uh so line true. So that's anti-aliasing, I'm pretty sure. So that's like colour. And non dot convert alpha. Take self dot get rect. Okay, and then set atra rect self dot align. And then <laughs> this is where it gets complicated. Self dot position dot x self dot position dot y oh we don't want self dot position actually do we no it's just self dot x and self dot y I think self dot x self dot y I'm getting myself confused now uh, cause oh I didn't actually set that that would be quite uh, also all these references to text are gonna have to be body now. I'm done. There you go. And then we need to set uh, self.x equals. We'll do that here actually. Uh, self.x equals x. Self.y equals y. Bought it for 50 cents and I saw $85. Whoa. <laughs> Not bad at all. Get height 
times by i. So that sets the offset. And we do render. And then that creates a render object. I see that deals with alpha, okay. The surface in the rect, okay. I'm actually going to use a different thing, see if I can find a slightly more simpler <laughs> Okay, I'll try this one. Oops. Base. Text. Okay, so it's just had a straight up text. And then we want to do so the cash equals true. Because we basically want to prevent it from rendering every time. Really is the idea here. Uh, so do so you actually want this? I don't know if we want the renders. I just thought the renders we do. So the font is there. Okay. The surface equals font dot render uh, line true. It's also um. I think the start is the same. Uh, we don't want to do this. We don't actually need this boolean, I don't know what I'm talking about here. So we just want to render it. Because <laughs> then if it updates, we want to manually render it. And then we want to self.render here. So we actually want that to be cleared. And then for... Okay, it's a full eye line. It's got a surface equals self dot font dot render uh, line true self dot color dot convert alpha. Then you got the rect equals surface or surf dot get rect. Oops. And then, as you know, it is basically the same as that before. <laughs> the newest currency, Carberries. Oops, okay. Let's see what I set, that, yep. And then we want to do self.renders, self.renders, dot append, uh, and then we're just going to have a tuple of our surface and our rect. And I think that should be fine. Let's just check how the window actually handles it. So it takes, oh, it just outright takes a sprite. It takes a position, which is a tuple. I believe this could just take a rect. So if we do, okay. We might actually need like some sort of uh, thing here. Actually, you probably don't. Actually, we probably do. We might just need a separate thing, honestly. Uh, def blit uh, UI. Whoops, UI self text and then self dot surface dot blit um it'll be four R in T 
hex.renders self.surface.blit r dot surf no be be r naught and an r one actually you could probably just do that and that worked fine understand zero percent yeah i don't understand most of what i do at any given moment but you know it, it works <laughs> So if I get rid of that, and then does this still have a thing? It does, but we don't need that anymore. So we need now need to load our self dot score text equals. Oh, we need to go in here. We need to do from dot UI import everything. Whoops. Actually, it needs to go first. Uh, so from snack dot text uh, the body so oops score equals zero we'll just kind of leave it as that for now or was it like score people wanted i forget <laughs> I, I don't remember how you wanted me to typo this so you want it okay so we want it like aligned to the top right we want it so what do we do score or score Skr or skr? Okay, we'll do it skr. <laughs> okay, so apparently we hadn't reached a conclusion yet. Skr. <laughs> just. Should I just make it random or something? <laughs> so no one has a clue what it could possibly be. Uh, so the X, we probably want it like. snack dot window width oops window width minus like 20 and then the y we want it like 20. four letter word generator <laughs> uh. Is it not? Is it generating it? I don't know if it's. Oh no, it's generated it. Okay, it's actually giving us real uh, real words. Interesting. Okay, I think that'll be fine for now. I don't think we need yeah the color. Okay, so we can do that. So that'll render it, and then we do. Uh, self dot window dot blit UI and we we might fix that to be like a a bigger thing. Put a poll. That's a good idea actually. I keep forgetting those things exist. All right, how do I, I think I do slash poll don't I? Yeah, yeah okay. Uh what should the score text be? So score what was it? Uh skr then we had Gero, then we had Scurry. <laughs> uh, and then we'll have that as like a five minute thing while we just build the rest of it and then we can just come back to it. Okay, I'll have a look at voting my own polls. Uh, if you want, I can do it after the stream. Uh, walk X. Slop 420. <laughs> it costs 10 bits because... Ten bits. I, um... I disabled the carberries, but I left the bits on. <laughs> the big sneaky. Discord. Uh, you could probably uh, hang on, guys. Yeah. Hard F. I basically wanted like a more objective, like, poll. 
to be self dot score text, and then that in theory that should just kind of work. No. Oh, it's missing its size argument. Uh, we need a size of like fifty, I guess. There's no attribute get wrecked. Uh, yes, that is very true. It does not have an attribute of get wrecked. It is surf dot get wrecked. Oh, there we go. Well, that is a that is a rather thin font, isn't it? <laughs> it doesn't update yet, though. Uh, so when we so in the scenes when we get the thing, it's what I put. It's a self dot. Oh, we actually don't like calculate the score at all. Is something I just realised. <laughs> Uh, self dot score equals zero. Self dot score equal plus equals one. And then self dot score text dot text um, equals score self dot score. Well, that worked fantastically well. Font good? Okay. I probably didn't need to put the, the, the poll to uh, a... <laughs> five minutes, did I? What's currently winning? Score with an O, okay. Oop, I crashed into myself. There's still that weird bug there, but it's quite thin. Yeah, there is a way of bold, uh, boldening it in the thing. Uh, let me quickly look that up. I know there's a way of doing it. Uh, Pygame bold fonts. Top font. Oh yeah, dot set bold. Enables bold rendering of text. It's a fake stretching of the font. Doesn't look good on many font types. With a real bold file. I don't know if this one has a real bold file. Actually, does that return out the font? No, it doesn't. God damn it. I think we need to also need to set it to true. <laughs> Set bold equals true, and we'll see if that looks any better, I suppose. That looks terrible. <laughs> it's like it's written by hand or something. Yeah, that's the point of the font. Uh, but it's looking as though we're probably going to have to change it. Because it's still not updating, which is annoying. Yeah, it doesn't look great, does it? Uh, Alright, well, we'll sort the score out first, and then, okay, so I'm going to change the where's the text <laughs> uh there it is and then uh oh actually yeah so why doesn't that, that genuinely just doesn't change so that's the school text or text that should set it because it's body not text i'm dumb uh for some reason error though i don't know why that's strange. Oh my god. There we go. So we now have an actual score. kind of keyboard switches. Uh, membrane. <laughs> I don't like mechanical keyboards. Shock horror. Yeah, it's, it's basically the one that isn't a mechanical one at all. Sounds like blues. 
Um, that's probably because I'm smashing it a bit. I can't stand mechanical keyboards because they're too loud. Okay, I crashed into myself. That bug is still there. We're going to have to fix that. Okay, so that works at least. But I'm going to make the size of the font a bit bigger, I think. Uh, so we're going to pass in good scenes. We're going to set our size to 100. Okay, that, that is just kind of too big. It makes the font look a bit better, but we are going to have to find a different font. Um, okay, I'll leave it 50 for now. And then we're going font hunting. So I kind of like the look of like handwritten. Uh, so we're just going to go and find some like handwritten one that's kind of quite bold. This one could work. It's this one could also work. I kind of like that. We'll, we'll keep that one in mind. Uh, also, I kind of like this one. Hmm, we'll keep that one in mind as well. It's screw. No, it was, it was decided that it was score. We had a poll. It's not a very loud conversation outside. That one's cool. I like that one too. Oh, there's so many good ones. Oops, I didn't open a new tab. Uh, lemon Yellow Sun. To feel... That's quite close. I'm not sure if it's like too bold, but it does have a load of sun icons. Leafy is a good one, or clocks and scripts. <laughs> Let me load that one up. Uh, leafy font. Oops. It is actually quite nice. Okay, maybe, what do you mean? I presume you mean this one. That's quite a nice one. Or leafy brush, I guess. Okay. And then Clarkson script. I like that. <laughs> I like it. Clarkson. Clarkson font. <laughs> oh, that font. Okay. That's not really handwritten. I might try this DK. Oh, sorry, it's Lemon Yellow Sun. Because it's kind of the closest to what I had in mind. Looks nice. Okay, so we'll stick that. We'll still that in downloads for the time being. And then we'll extract that. And then we'll go in and then we'll. It's an OTF. That's hopefully not going to cause any issues. Uh, and then we. Actually, I might just be able to paste it directly into here. That That's, the, that's a hardcore no right there. Uh, so be GitHub, Cabra, Pygame Tutorial, Assets, Fonts, and then throw that in there. And then kind of hope that it's not awful. Uh, so we'll just do it here. DK Lemon yellow, is it called DK yellow? sun.otf .otf sorry thank you uh, cypher guy for the follow and welcome to the stream welcome um, IK Benolo to the stream as well hope you're doing okay That looks okay. I'm not fully smitten on it, but it'll work. How are you doing, Cypher? Okay. I, th I think this, uh, it's, uh... Oh, goodness, Comic Sans. We are, we are not using Comic Sans. <laughs> I mean, there is intentional typos. 
And then there is Comic Sans. <laughs> Again, some high scores here. Whoops, 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 whoops. There we are fine, it's fine, everything's fine. <laughs> Wait, did I run alongside? I guess I did. That's just so weird. There's like a certain point where you're not gonna be able to like run there. Oh, I crashed myself again. No longer have 6.9K, that's unfortunate. <laughs> game will be a perfect meme. I mean it was... <laughs> Alright. We'll have one last poll about uh, with just those two options. And if um, if score wins you can stop shouting in the chat. <laughs> If you want to put an additional vote, you can put down a thousand carberries. Or, like, actually pay me money. <laughs> and it'll be a minute long, so go! Whoops. While I'm talking about paying me money... <laughs> I could do a shill while uh, the poll is going. Uh, if you do have Twitch Prime, don't forget that you have one free subscription per month. Um, and uh, if you're not using it, then consider using it on me if you are enjoying the stream. Uh, you can also follow if you're not already, um, or you can, you know, do the other stuff that, you know, people on Twitch do. The 420 Carberries. I just love how people like destroy their uh, <laughs> their carb rebalances on this. It does appear that Skirt is actually going to win uh, this new pulse. So I will go and change it. Whoops. Oh no. Yeah, that's 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 not ideal. <laughs> uh, oh, because it's doing that one down there as well. Skirt. The blacks. <laughs> if, if you want more plugs, I can plug more stuff. I can start plugging my YouTube channel. Which, by the way, <laughs> uh, Data Analysis Series starting on Monday. However, if you can't wait, then all you need to do is spend a dollar on the Patreon and you get early access to that first episode. Then you can upgrade to get it uh, early access uh, 72 hours earlier. Then YouTube release every single episode. Uh, and then there's some other socials that I really use at the moment. But there is a Discord server, which you can join if you want to. Plus Discord in the chat. Yeah, the Twitch isn't a command because you're already on Twitch. There wouldn't be much of a point. Uh, but you could do uh, plus YouTube, plus Discord, plus Patreon. I think it's plus Twitter. I think it's... Facebook as well, plus Facebook, if you really want to do that, but I'm probably, I'm thinking of scrapping the Facebook page to be completely honest with you. It's just a load. <gasps> we got a bot! Guys, we got a bot! Oh, it's always, it's always good to see the bots. Look at that. Want to become famous? Yeah, I do! I could buy followers of viewers? Oh my god! My site, uh, well, it's not done yet, so I haven't got a link to it. <laughs> um, it was it was a bot posting a link, <laughs> spam bot. I mean, if you want to go to the website, it's carbo.xyz, but it's not done yet, so it's being developed by someone, so it's fine. I have had a lot of offers to help build the site, though. Um, it's not, no. He was one of the people that offered, but uh, no, it's not Max. Ban. The person's already been banned. I'm not sure if you can see that in the thing, because I think I've got like a mod view open. But the person was already banned. 
got to rewrite the fan film. God. Um, so now if I, yeah, if I run it now, it'll say screw. Cleared up all the webs. Oh, God. I heard about the Tailwind CSS. I don't think so, no. I can see the UI sits on top. I've heard of I've heard of Bootstrap but I've heard of Material. Um, as far as I know, the person that's building the website is doing a lot of the CSS themselves. Um, for what I've seen so far, it actually looks all right. Although I did a request to design be a bit different, so we'll have to see what it looks like. But I, I did have have some really cool a, a design that I think looks really good. Was it basically boot? Whoa, hello. I looked around. It's really hard to read the chat where you're trying to be a hardcore gamer. Whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. <laughs> God, no. Ah, there we go. But I'd be using Django. Uh, it's a she. And no, the website is being built in Scala and uh, some web framework I don't remember the name of she's basically borrowing her existing text stack and just like applying it to the website because it's just easier to do cover tutorials not cover game Colors are inverted. <laughs> uh, that's pointless. We're kind of in like dark mode, really, aren't we? Welcome, uh, Sam the Third, to the stream. Hope you're doing okay. Um, well, it's a high score, so it, it speeds up every single time. It doesn't start very quick. Like you can see here, it starts quite slow. Any slower than that, it just gets boring. But yeah. Getting a website because currently it's a uh, it's currently just being used as a redirect. Uh, so currently the actual site itself just looks like this. <laughs> uh, but if you go to like YouTube.com or XYZ, then it, oh, not not X, not XYX. So long as it's not XYX, uh, but I can do that, and it actually comes up. So you just click that on Google and just go to it. So it's kind of just like a redirect thing at the time. But um, what I'm planning is that on this screen here, it's going to have like a logo in the middle and it's going to have like uh, icons around it that you can click. But you have a wasted domain. No, it's not wasted at all. Like, because um, everything's redirected on here, so I can go to Discord or Copper XYZ. And it will like, well, launch the server, but yeah, you get the point. <clears throat> So it's me, uh, it comes up with weird stuff, <laughs> which is really awkward. Uh, we don't need any of these fonts anymore, we also don't need that. So that can go over there, and this can come back, actually that can go over there as well. So next thing is, I guess, alright, do we want to do the menus or the sounds next? I suppose it makes sense to... <laughs> sounds at the moment it's a redirect here I'll do the menu next actually I could do a poll what am I doing I could just literally do a poll um, yeah there's a basketball player called Ethan Anderson <laughs> which is kind of annoying um, use all sounds next uh, Menus, sounds, and I'm pretty sure there isn't anything else we need to do. <laughs> I really don't know. Uh, start the poll. I said that's five minutes ago. Okay, it was live. Oh, nice. I think he streams every day around this time. Uh, right, while that poll is going, 
Uh, I'm going to turn my heater off because it's getting really warm in here. I'm going to go to the toilet. So, uh, I'll let that go. And I'll see you in like three minutes or so. Um, so, I'm not going anywhere, but I'll see you in a wee bit. <laughs> Are the ads still going? I actually don't know if the ads are still going. <laughs> Why did I throw that over there? I didn't need that. I was just like, oh, I put this on the back of my chair and I threw it across the room. I had to go get it again. Ugh. There was only one. Oh, interesting. So basically most people don't, I put a three minute commercial thing on, one person saw one ad. <laughs> God damn it Twitch. That's really annoying. At least everyone's back from the ads. Yeah, I put on a three minute ad break. I put co slash commercial 180, which is 180 seconds, I think. I'm pretty sure that's right, because it's like commercial and then duration. I'm going here, it's like, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, I haven't got the stream on. If I go in here and I do like, um, slash commercial, yeah, length, uh, run an ad break. I wonder, is that in minutes? Um, <laughs> so that might be in minutes. <laughs> Not seconds. Uh, sorry, damn commands. Default day seconds. On your dashboard's gearbox. What? Oh, specific commercial lengths can only be run if available. 
Wait, it has to be like a, an actual number? Because we're doing the menus next. Wait, it has to be like one of a sp set of specific numbers? What? That makes no sense. Also, I'm just going to mute that just in case. Affiliate agreement. Add free view. Allow subscribers to watch. Okay, this is really bizarre. Okay, I'm going to have to look through the settings later because a lot of them don't actually make any sense. The website template, it's private, so no, I can't, sorry. Whoops, yeah, I want to get rid of that. Go away. Uh, so... No, I'm following meantime, no. I think we do like one minute or ten minutes, yeah. I'll have to look that up at some point. Because I really don't know. Welcome Emily to the stream. Hope you're doing okay. Oh, right. Let's get back to the sun has like decided it's gonna explode. And I cannot see anything. So we're doing the menus next. Uh, so we go into the client and we switch the scene be in the menu scene. Uh, so def, and we're also going to have to work out a way to switch scenes, but I'm not I'm not worrying about that for now. <laughs> we're just going to pretend as though that problem doesn't exist. Okay. <laughs> um, what country am I from? I'm from the UK. I'm from Britland. Yeah, I read it as car bland as well. I was wondering what the hell is going on. Sun never sets on the car. Yeah, but yeah. Well, if I open this, open my curtain, I'm now blind. Oh my god! And I'm now extremely hot as well. I was reflect. It's worked out the issue. It's reflecting off one of the windows, like two feet from mine. Ow! I actually hurt my eyes. <laughs> Now that I can't see, let's get on with it. Oh! <laughs> I was half legally blind before. I'm, I'm legally blind in my left eye, but my right eye is um, more or less fine. <laughs> Weird world we live in. Um, so you're going to want to do self.title equals uh, snack.text and then a snack. Uh, and then uh, snack dot window window width divided by two. That's going to be divided by divided by two, isn't it? Not triple divided. And snack dot window height uh, height into division by two. Uh, and then we want to make it like a hundred, and then we want to align it in the center. And then I've just realised we actually don't want this. We probably want it like... Actually, we probably want it top centre. Would it be top middle? I guess we'll find out. Um, right, yeah, my right eye is also blind. <laughs> so we want to... Okay, let's just load that. So it's like, okay, never mind. Menu scene is no attribute handle events. That's a very good point. Uh, so we need to, well, we need to load for a start. And we need to handle events. So handle events, self events. And then for now, we're just going to return events. And then we need an update, which we're just going to pass. And then I don't think we need a draw. We do need a draw. <laughs> I see. Uh, self.draw. 
self, and then we're going to do uh, self dot window dot blitz. Uh, whoops, self dot title. That'd be blit UI. And also, this terminal is huge. Why? Why is it so big? Oh, why does it keep doing that? Okay, there's no attribute top center, so it'd be mid top middle then, I guess. So I don't know which it is. It's either it might be middle top. It's middle top. <laughs> Can't really. It's not middle top. What is it? <laughs> like for real? Uh, it should be in here somewhere. It's not. Where is my line? Is this? It's. It's mid top. Okay. Update takes. Oh yeah, it takes the frame delta, doesn't it? Uh, and then there we go. That looks completely wrong, but you get the idea. So that needs to be moved down. So it's like three hundred. Okay, that's way too high still. Um, well, the window is only seven twenty, I suppose. So maybe like one hundred and fifty. All right. See you later, Walkex. Thanks for stopping by for as long as you did. Really appreciate it. Can I do like how do tildes look in this font? It'd be funny if they were just suns. And well, they don't actually render at all. Strange. Why do they not render? <laughs> Does this font not have any dashes? Or either that or it doesn't have any tildes. It might not have had any til. Oh uh, yeah, it just doesn't have any tildes. That was funny. I'll just leave it as this for now. Uh, so we need our self dot chosen plus. Uh, I imagine it would have a plus. I'm trying to make it look a bit. Oh, it doesn't have a plus. This font is like missing about the half his characters. I do like the sun icon though. It it's it it makes it worth it. I might genuinely just keep that <laughs> for now, and we'll see. Uh, the one thing I've realised is we're probably going to need a button. Um, so I'm going to need to do a class button that takes a text, or I suppose like text button. It's, it inherits from text, and then it, uh, so it takes the same arguments. We don't need this extra quarks. We're not passing anything to the to any super classes. Uh, and then we're just pretty sure we just need to super dot in it. Uh, and then oh, we need to do everything. But we don't pass in the self. And then we also need like a command, I think. So we need the body, we need the X and Y, we need the size. I guess we just put the, like, the command in here. I might as well put that after as a super, to be honest. Uh, so we have our command, so we, we're just going to pass in a function. Um, and that should work, in theory. So on okay, so self dot play button equals a snack dot text button. Whoops, text uh, button uh, play game, and then we'll have like snack. Well, it's got to be like window width divided by two again, and it'll be like maybe two fifty, and then. 50 and then a line middle, a line mid top. I guess I don't even know what we're doing at mid top. And then we'll have a quit button. Uh, quit. And maybe like 350. And then we'll just see how that looks. It's 
missing the sign. Oh, because we need to... Okay. I'm just going to pass in none for now. Just I want to see how it looks. Whoopsie daisies. That's not what I do. None type object has no attribute split. Eh? What? Oh. 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 Right. I see. <laughs> The nun goes first. <laughs> uh, they're not rendering because I'm not drawing them. That's probably <laughs> that's probably why they're not rendering. Um, <clears throat> it's for t in a self dot title self dot play. You know, there's no point in having an iteration. It's just wasting time. <laughs> Might as well just do it uh, separately. So play button and then play or oh, quit button. That was rough. Uh, we're gonna have to have... Uh, <laughs> we're gonna have to have a vote on the text, because people are coming up with all sorts of different options again. No one is agreed! <laughs> also, why? Why is it... Why is the thing different? It's mid top. It should be aligning to the center. So why is it not doing that? Okay, I'm just gonna do uh center for all of them. I feel as though that might be easier to uh, like work out. <laughs> Yeah, for some reason, they're, they're like way over. They're not like aligning properly. There's something going wrong. So it should just be loading. Line 17. Uh, presumably in the scenes. Can you show the position of them? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, so, prints. I'll just do the um, dot x. Self dot play button dot y, and then I'll do the title as well. Whoops, that's not what I do. Uh, title. 640. Yeah, they're both 640. Um, uh, yeah, so the actual things are going somewhat in the right place, uh, like vertically, but they're just lining up. Yeah, but the Y is down. This is an X, this is a difference in the X. 220 and 320. Well, it's just, this is changing the wrong axis, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's just changing the axis, and that was worse anyway. Um, so for some reason, this just isn't, like... Well, it's doing it, but it's not, like, aligning properly. I'm presuming there's something wrong with our alignment in the rendering. Oh, I think I might know what's... No. Wait, does this take... It takes a line. I'm dumb. I'm... <laughs> I didn't... I didn't correct the super in it. Okay, that should be fine now. Okay, I'm, I'm an idiot. Ignore me. Uh, so that should be 300 and that should be 400 then, I think. That looks good. And then we just need to bump everything down. So 200 and then this would be 350 and then this would be 450. That works. 
then we can we can make that prettier once we actually get the functionality down. <laughs> Good God, that's not a cool idea. Uh, so yeah, that's that's fine. Now, so now we need to do like a, a switch scene and a quit. So this is basically just like sys.exit. <laughs> well, there's, there's like a client dot stop. We're going to need to pass the client into the scene, aren't we? Uh, there's, there's literally no way around it. Uh, Self.window equals client.window. Or client.wnd. And then, yeah, we need to do self.client.stop. Then there's like no event. Window object is no attribute window. Oh, yeah. Because we just need to pass in self to the thing. And that's not actually going to function because we're not handling any events. Uh, so we don't need that open anymore, I think. So handle events, uh, if, oh, or before, well, I wish you could probably just copy paste this. For in events, if, uh, if it's mouse button down, then we want to do, um, then we want to work out which button we're on. So, so we'll just do it with this statements for now, and then we'll do it. So if e dot, oh god, it's the position, apparently. Uh, dot x, I think it's e dot position dot x. E dot position. And then actually what I've just realized is we're not getting rid of the event. So events dot remove e. We need to be getting rid of that event. Oh, event has no attribute position. Okay. So. Oh, it's pause. I see. That's not possible in Streamlabs. Uh, you know, sleep, you want a hug in a head pat. I will send over some virtual hugs and heg he pats. Head pats. I don't know what a heg is. Oh my god, my Twitch viewers is on. Or my Twitch views overall is nine hundred ninety nine. God damn it, we're so close to a to a thousand. So damn close. Uh, so if if e dot pause. Uh, now, does this have a greater than overload? I really hope it does. It's a tuple, so it probably doesn't. We can test. Um, if, hang on, so, one, one, oh, one, two is greater than two, oops, two, three, false. I don't think there is an overload for it. No, maybe there, no, no, maybe there is. <gasps> there is an overload. We can do it. So what if... What if one of them is greater than the other? So 100 and then 40 is greater than... Whoops. Greater than 40, 100. So this would presumably be false. It's true. It says if any of them are greater than. That's interesting. So if self dot we'll just do the quick button because it actually has like a thing on it uh dot position we're gonna need uh gonna have to go to the ui we're gonna have to do like a position here uh property def position uh self uh, return self dot x self dot y
Arsenal, right? Actually, we might be able to do um, if e dot pause in self dot quit button dot wrecked. Oh, no, we can't. Oh, actually, renders naught dot wrecked dot get wrecked. No, it's it's renders one. No, it's renders naught one. Then print ea. That might actually work. Uh, no. <laughs> No, that's not a thing you can do. God damn it, that would be fun. For the... Is it 1k? No, no, it, it updates like once every 10 minutes. <laughs> so we won't know until about like half past. Actually, talking of time... Uh, once I've finished yawning, my god. The stream is going to be ending marginally earlier than it normally does. Uh, of course, the stream normally ends at 7. Today it's going to be ending at 6.45. Uh, so it's only 15 minutes, but just so I'd let you know. Uh, so, so that doesn't work. Okay, we're just, gonna, I think we're just going to have to be weird about it. So self dot, uh, oh, be e dot pause dot x is less than self dot uh, play of quit button dot x e dot pause dot x that's not it what the hell am i doing oh e dot pause dot x plus uh, oh so yeah self dot quit button dot yeah doesn't a sprite have a <laughs> have the width and yeah it does i might do that Uh, self dot w. Uh, so uh, so self. Okay, uh, self dot w equals zero. Self dot w equals max. Um, self dot w. <laughs> surf dot get width. Okay, I'm just gonna have like an extra function here to check if it was clicked, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so this is kind of dumb. Um, no, yeah, that does need to be reset in here anyway. But then we need to set it here too. So self.w equals zero and self.h equals zero. So we need that set there. And then we do Uh, so, uh, okay, wait, hang on, let's put, oh no, let's put that back. <laughs> this is getting complicated. Uh, okay, so you have the, re the, the rect here. Yeah, and then you have so that 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 sorts out this this append stuff. So you have the width calculation here. And the height calculation is the surface. Uh, it also needs to be self dot height equals zero. We need to do. Self dot line and self dot x and self dot y plus surf get height times i to be self dot h plus equals surf dot get height I'm pretty sure I think because it just seems to be like appending it based on the height there isn't like an extra offset applied so yeah so now we have okay this needs to go away and this needs to go away okay so if um If self dot quit button dot clicked uh, e dot pause, and then a uh, self dot quit button dot 
me four button in self dot play button self dot quit button uh, if button dot clicked uh, then button dot command run practice empty the entire stream yeah it's because no one's really been uh, using the bot this time uh, I don't know what I'm doing there so I now need to work out if this was a uh, clicked so uh, if if uh, pause dot x is less than uh, self dot x that'd be equals wouldn't it that'd be less than just extra efficiency it doesn't matter about single pixel Uh, and then it would be pos.x plus self.w or and we're gonna we're gonna put this in brackets <laughs> and we're gonna put this one in brackets or um, it'd be the same thing but with height so instead of there would be uh, this whoopsie this is and it'd be plus height uh, and then return true else return turn false oh my god it worked <laughs> oh no it didn't it crashed two poor objects and no attribute y oh for crying out loud so this would be pause naught and this would be pause one oh my god it worked <laughs> Didn't register the first time though, which is weird. Oh, hello. None type objects is not callable. Oh, it actually registered me clicking the other button. Whoops. Oh, it's getting weird. Button click. Wait, what? Okay. Print pause and then print. Uh, self dot position something is going weird here see why did it okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to print the the actual rect so we get all of it Get all the information. Tuple has no attribute get right. Are you oh yeah, because it's the one, isn't it? Why am I doing this in a damn Okay? So that one it registered a click of something. Uh, yeah, it is actually, oh, it's an and. <laughs> it still hasn't updated yet, Unicorn. So now, well, well, yeah, that one will break. But this one will work. <laughs> okay, that only took 11 tries. Why does that take such a long time? Why is this so finicky? If your legs are still hurting, you probably shouldn't go skating. Oh, wh why? Is it this? I surely can't be making that much difference. I forgot I still have my legs just turned off, don't I? So this section here just doesn't work, but over here does. So there's something weird going on there um, that I've got to figure out. <coughs> like, well, actually, if I just undo everything and then we get back in there, what the hell's going on? 
So in here, uh, 608 plus... That's in bounds! <laughs> yeah, it is. Look, it's in. You can do the maths yourself. That is in bounds. What in the world? Unless it's ah, oh, because it's offset. And it's offset, so it's centered. Oh no, that's not good. Yeah, that's actually a problem. <laughs> so, can I get okay? I'm going to have to like re-get the surface, I think. So surface equals self.renders naught, yeah, naught. And then x equals self, it would be x, y, I think, equals self dot, it would be surf dot gets. Rect dot is this is dying no so okay it was a rect okay what well, we'll just get the damn rect <laughs> it's just easier and then x okay, then then we use instead of this we use rect and then instead of this we use rect and we'll see if that remedies the issue and if it does then we've got some rewrite to do. That's exactly the same problem as it was. That hasn't literally hasn't changed anything. So I need I need like the top left. I think. So I need to get the top top left position. No, do I need to get the center position? No. I... Oh, God! <laughs> so I need the... Okay, I, need, I just need to like print right the top left. And then uh, self to x and self to y, and they should be different. They are different. So why isn't it working? <laughs> she wait for dinner. What have you got in the cupboard? Uh, oh, actually, wait, 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 wait. So, x, y equals rect dot top left. So this should work. Bam. Nope. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Why? So elk or moose? Typically moose. Although we do, I think we'd have elks as well. I think we say both. I'm going to be brutally honest with you. So why is this? This is the only problem with the alignment system. Like it doesn't bloody. Okay, so 
What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pass in the surface. Uh, and then we're going to put this in here. And then... Jax, I literally told you the answer. <laughs> I told I told you that we typically say moose, but we do also say elk. I said that. Oh. Oh, you were saying your dinner stuff. I thought you were just. Ch I thought you just changed the subject. Use the collide point. That could work. Uh, I guess to have a hamburger. I'll play the string clip later. I need to like actually work out what the syntax of the collide point is. Uh, Pi game wrecked. And it has, where is it, where is it, where is it? Collide point. Test if a point is inside a rectangle. Go. <laughs> I suppose that works. Um, return uh, be self dot renders not dot get wrecked. I suppose now we can put the the, the wreck back in. Uh, so we have wrecked equals surf dot get wrecked, and then we pass in the tuple of so the right so we don't have to like get it every time then we just index that like that and then do collide uh, points without an underscore in the middle of it because it's a good library and then do that and then pray it works okay <laughs> that, was, that was really over complicating it <sighs> fine thank you Max I probably should have looked that up before, to be honest. Deer meat or moose meat? Alright, see you later, Emily. How are the views still on 999? Like, Twitch, can you please, like, update that? Uh, so yeah, that, uh, I guess, uh, if, but, I suppose you would have like a lambda, lambda, there we go, none for placeholder ones. The play button, we need to work out how to switch the scene. That's going to be fun. Uh, well, actually, we can now just uh, self dot client dot play, and we can now, yeah, now that we're passing the client, and it's actually kind of all right. So we could just have it in here. Um, def play. So we, I don't know if we're going to need to like unload the scene. I guess we wouldn't because the garbage collection would already do it. Self dot scene equals uh, snack dot. It'd be like main scene. Yeah, there we go. Main scene self. Would be self, and the main scene still takes the window. <laughs> uh, so we need to do self dot client equals client, and self dot window equals client dot window. And now the buttons should all work. Boop. Cool. We have a menu. It looks like crap and it doesn't make any noise, but we have a menu. <laughs> Pause menu time, oh goodness. I, th I think um, the game over menu should come first. Like crap, I don't have a menu either. <laughs> Oops, I was on the wrong column. 
making my own noises while the game doesn't have any. God! D okay, we're fine. It's fine. Everything's okay. I always do this to the snake. It doesn't matter what version of the snake it is. I always miss it by one. It's very annoying. See? Always miss it by one. Whoops. I'm just like hardcore gaming right now. I say. <laughs> There we go. The say is I completely messed up. Sounds of my mouth. I would if Jaxter hadn't already made sounds for me. <laughs> well, that went wrong. You just do that. I just thought we could have a time. We could have a timer. As the in the oh my god in the UI. Whoa, 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 yeah, we'll, we'll have a timer. Put in the game, which I might at some point. Um, but we'll see. So, hang on, my mic. There go. Just to make sure my mic doesn't get stuck again. Actually, we had to transport it up. Uh, Back to to university, we had to like partially dismantle it because the the screw, one of the screws, got stuck, or, or like the the bit that takes the microphone cradle off the stand got stuck in place, and we we literally had to like unbolt the hinge that connects everything just to be able to move it. <laughs> Here, might hit things probably because I'm touching it. I don't know how loud that was. <laughs> Uh, so self dot clock text equals snack uh, snack dot text uh, time e equals uh, this I suppose snack dot window width minus twenty and then twenty and then fifty and then a line top left. <laughs> Definitely one here. Why only one? Because that should now. Oh, we're not actually rendering it, are we? Uh, so yeah, self. Self. Win, window. Blitz. Uh, UI. Self. Clock. Text. Oh, hello. That's weird. Why has it done that? Should be a line top left. Oh, yeah, I'm done. It's 20. <laughs> it's just 20 we want it. No, that one's fine. It's this one we want it at just 20. There's a chance we might have to see about that, Emily, because I might be switching universities next year. Um, but I'll probably talk more with you about that later. Oh, God. Because uh, this, yeah, this uni is, uh, yeah. I kind of lost all confidence in it at this point. But it's fine, we don't need to worry about that now. Uh, so, okay, so we need to work out, like, so we need to do the updates and move. Yeah, that's true. That is very true. It's game timer. Yeah, well, I haven't updated the game timer yet. So, you have, um, It's gonna to have to have like a timer. Uh, self dot timer equals naught dot, and that's gonna be the delta 
so every single frame that's going to be updated by the delta. So self dot timer plus equals uh, delta. Then we're going to have a self dot would be um, time string equals uh, be <clears throat> self dot timer divided divided by sixty oh two and then self dot timer uh, remainder of sixty oh two and if time string does not equal self dot score text dot body then we want to set no it would be self dot time text goodness that would be self dot clock text self dot clock text dot body equals time string that should be a time and then time string wouldn't it and that should work it's not saved there you go now it's saved so now that should well that went wrong <laughs> I didn't round it, uh, so it'd be, and then I guess it'd be point naught f. I guess it'd be that way round, and then point naught f. It should, like, there we go. That's all I had to do. <laughs> now split is insanely slow. So now we have a clock, and it runs. Because it's working fine as it is. <laughs> but essentially, I do want to check that it's rendering as it should and not rendering every single frame. Oh, God, it's rendering every single frame. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's a point. Uh, so if. Okay. That works. So now it should just render once every frame, once every second. Okay, yeah. So now it's already rendering when it needs to. So that, in, a, in more complicated situations, can literally save you hundreds upon hundreds of frames. Um. Text rendering is easily the thing that is slowest. Well, unless you're doing like a huge image. Um, but text rendering is unbelievably slow. So if you just cache it and then only render it when it updates, then it's fine. Everything is okay. I just realized I probably should change the. Uh, get it to render again if it changes size, but. Where's the apple? Oh, it's, it's behind the time. Yeah, we're going to have to change the size of the board, I think. God, mm, that bug is still there. Why? Why? Uh, God, this update. Look at this. This is awful. <laughs> this looks genuinely awful. Um, okay, so... Slash poll, uh, how to spell time in the UI. Uh, so just have the normal time. You have a, like that, like this, like this, or I guess like this. <laughs> and then one minute go. I'm actually going to put in my own vote for what I think is the best one. I don't know, but... Because currently the ones with Ys are doing quite well. <laughs> oh, good. That's, that's extremely useful. 
change the direction twice before moving a block. There's, there's a chance. Welcome to the stream, Devalian, by the way. Or Dene... Sorry, Denevian. There we go. <laughs> Support. Uh, let's have a look at the... Where it even, it actually even is it? I think it's... Oh, is it inside the snack, I think? Maybe. No, we don't appear to be... Okay, literally they're all one, so... <laughs> uh, I am going to... I have the final say, so we're going to do it like this. There's a four-way tie at the top. Um, Den is fine. So that's that's fair. That's fair. The side there was a pole, and it came out as even. So I just used the yeah, max. Is my one inconsistent or the uh, herb time spelling? You're in your direction, but not sure if there's anything limiting that method from just running again for the snake has advanced forward a space. That is very true. There isn't anything with that. Times 10. Ah, oh, so you're going off that scale. I know if the scale of everything is currently four characters. <laughs> so... Snack time score or score, and then there's play and quit as well. So I'm currently going off the the four character thing. Yeah, that is a very true. So it's probably. So it's probably yeah, it's probably going back on itself. So you probably have the option to go up and then left, and then if you do that within one. 16,000th of a second. Yeah, if, 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 you, if you manage to hit two keys in, in 16,000th of a second or 17,000th of a second, then it... Yeah, you, you could, in theory, make it go back on itself entirely and then... Okay. So I'm going to put this in here for now. Tim. <laughs> so put this in here for now. Um, fix so that you can't change direction twice in 17 MS. Because that's currently the issue we're having. And... I may come back to that. I don't know. I don't know if I should fix that now or what. Or even how. Because it currently... It's currently doing it based on the events. It's doing the events every single frame. So it's doing... Oops. It's doing the events... Here. Actually, I just realized you can click on this and you can go somewhere. What the hell? I didn't know that. Holy m Wow. I genuinely had no idea you could do that. My life has just been changed. My life has been altered by this. Uh, yeah, so it does snake direction. And it removes the event, but then it checks this more than once per thing. This look, I can I can navigate anywhere inside um, inside the thing just using this up here, rather than just scrolling and finding it. No, I had no idea. <laughs> Genuinely, had never come across that before. I would say you probably did, Emily. One K views, we did it. <laughs> It's actually updated to 1k. Yeah, I'm just wondering if there's a slightly better way of doing that that doesn't involve having a separate flag for it. Uh, 
Well, like, where, like, where would we... I guess we'd do it here, in the draw. We'd have to set that flag back. Because it currently, it does the update... It Yeah, it does the events and the update, and then it does the drawing. So, presume we have to set it false... Like, here. And then... Set it to true here or something. Oh no, wait, but the move happens. Wait, when does the move happen? So, yeah, the scene to update. And then it moves. Yeah, it, mo it moves per thing. Oh, so we could, in theory, just... Wait, no, that's not... Because, it, yeah, it moves it every single tick. Should be able to done within SNEC, the update method inside of the SNEC. I don't think there is an update method. Well, there's a, there's a movement method. That's true, actually, yeah. We could probably just do it in here. So it would be, I guess, self dot um, direction update would be then false, and then it would be true here, and then we'd have to initialize it as false. Wait, if not self dot direction update. And then do like self dot direction update equals false, and that's annoying me. So I'm going to get rid of that, and that would probably fix the problem. <laughs> Just mashing it in the hope. I don't want to be a bit longer because I'm not sure it's actually possible when I'm only uh too long. Whoops. It does seem impossible to do now. So I guess that is I guess that is our solution. Although it's not actually possible to kill ourselves on the first four blocks. So if now it's, what it appears to have done is it's just like disabled a really f ultra fast movement. Yeah. I think I think it's in place. I'm pretty sure that, that is now like effectively in place. Yeah, we need to change the size of the board. So I was going to do it in the options, wasn't I? Well, I think I was going to eventually make this game a square. <laughs> Although it would work fine in a square. It should do anyway. I should actually probably check if it works fine as a square. Uh, so if you hear the window width, say like 840 by 840. Making my own version of Snack. Uh, um, you can set it if you want. Like different shape boards. Yeah, that, that was kind of part of the original plan. So the menu still sort of works. Uh, we will need to center that though. Yeah, so the whole game works on different sizes. Uh, we do need to actually fix the menu centering though. Or not. Where is the snake gone? <laughs> huh, the wraparound doesn't work all the time. That's weird. 
If it works that way, it works that way. It works that way. It doesn't... It works that... What? Wait, what? Okay, what is going on? <laughs> it's like sometimes it wants to work, sometimes it doesn't. What is going on? So it works this way. Up to a oh, there's like a certain amount of wrapping it can do. I think what I may have done is I may have hard coded something in the wraparound. Uh, I <sighs> didn't. So in range, if you go right down, pass halfway point. It seems to be. It seems to be like wrapping around once and not, and then not again. I don't know how many FPS I'm getting. I, I don't know how to calculate it using a frame data system. <laughs> Suppose I could... Actually, I could think of like a really balked way we could do it. Um, so, if we do... self.fps... Just... Yeah, it would have to be self equals zero. Oh, no, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't have to be that at all. It would just be FPS equals zero. And then it would be... Uh, what the hell was that? Did you hear that? It sounded as though someone just dropped a like, printer on my ceiling. Or on the floor above me, rather. That was a bit terrifying. Uh, so FPS equals zero, and then... Uh, frame delta is FPS plus equals one, and then oh, but the frame we need like a timer, really, don't we? Oh, well, the max is sixty. We're actually like maxing it. I think we could just get rid of the cap, I suppose. No, that's that's not a good idea. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just what I'm trying to do. Um, but it's difficult to work out exactly how to like do that. Yeah, but um, I guess we could see if if the, the that clock would work. Well, I don't think it would because we haven't like specified an object. Oh, you can just get it from there. Okay, never mind. Then. You might. Max FPS is not defined because it's snacked up max FPS. I'm not entirely convinced this will actually work. Yeah, okay, so we do have to create an object for it, but maybe this will be FPS reference for assignment. Oh yes. Yeah. Okay. So that's not erring anymore. Uh so just print that in there, I suppose. So it should come up with Okay, yeah, it's not functioning because it's not doing the clicks for us. So we have to do it manually. As I suspected. Okay, so FPS would be, I guess, timer equals zero. Timer plus equals frame delta, then an FPS plus equals one. And then print FPS. Uh, so it'd be timer over FPS. No, it wouldn't it be FPS over timer? And then we'll do round it to like three significant figures. Never mind. <laughs> oh no, it wouldn't be FPS. It'd be frames.
Unless that is actually the FPS, but I don't think it is. What the hell? That's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, so it equals the... F oh, no, because I need to do... I need to do this divided by a thousand, don't I? Because it's in milliseconds. God! <laughs> Frames. So, oh, save that. Run. No. Run. Okay, yeah. That seems to be somewhat accurate. So we're getting about, like, 50-odd. Oh god, the, the prints are murdering it. <laughs> uh, so I could, in theory, if event... <laughs> sure, we'll just have it as like a list of bug thing at the moment. Uh, case, space, um, print. So if, if we hit space, we just get an FPS figure. Or not. Oh yeah, because we're... Oh no, we're still... It's still extending the snake. <laughs> Whoops. Need to actually turn that off. Uh, so it'd be in the snake. Yeah, we need to get rid of that. <laughs> we're still getting rid of the, the thing. Hmm. So we're getting rid of the, the event at the wrong time. But those are things. Oh yeah. Whatever. We'll, ju we'll just we just won't remove the event for now. It's still not going. That's weird. Suppose I could, in theory, like update the FPS. Every like once in a while, maybe every second or something. Uh, sure. Snake dot text. Uh, FPS equals zero for now, and then we'll have snake dot window width. Divided by 2, uh, 20, 50, and then a line equals uh, mid-top. And we want to blit that as well. And it'll just say FPS 0 for now. Okay, but that does, that does look fine. Okay. <clears throat> so... Yeah, the timer. And then we don't want this rendering anymore because we know that's working fine. And then, oh, we are actually going to want to set this as like. <laughs> Time over frames. That's fine. We'll just have like the FPS figure in the client itself, and then we'll grab that. So uh, FPS string equals FPS uh, self dot client dot FPS. Uh, around to not significant figures. Uh, and then it, I suppose if FPS string does not equal self dot FPS text dot body, we'll just render it again. And then I hope it doesn't change too much. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to have to think of like a more timed solution. Oh, hello. All right, because it needs to be in here. Huh. Very strange. <laughs> Why is that never updating? Cause FPS string. 
Hmm, that's weird. Is it being calculated? Oh, you know, I think it's being calculated incorrectly as well. Over a thousand, but in theory, that should. Oh, it's printing something really low now. What? Why is that printing something so low? Huh? It was working before. Okay, let me just go back to where it was working. <laughs> Where we printed it every frame and it printed an accurate figure. So it's this we want. There's a chance I typoed. Uh, ah. Timer divided by frame. Oh, maybe, uh. Which way around is it? Oh, it's frames divided by time. Oh, yeah, I did. I did. I definitely did, did it the wrong way around then. So now it should work. About a hundred and a lot of the FPS is just continually going down. <laughs> Why is it slowly going down? Uh, thank you, uh, IO1982 for the follow. Oh, I know why it's going down, actually. Uh, because it's including the one from the menu. <laughs> so we don't actually want... We don't want any of this inside the client. We want all of this timer and frame stuff. In, like, the update, I think. And also, we're calculating the frames per second wrong anyway. I've just realised, because the frames should only go up one... ...if we draw anything. <laughs> and now it's zero again. God damn it. Um... Yeah so, yeah, so we have the timer that actually does work. And then we have the frames, which apparently just doesn't. <laughs> so, was it, wait, was it right before? It might have been right before. Because it was printing... It is printing a somewhat accurate number. So now it is printing the same thing. If you get rid of the print, it jumps to like hundreds and hundreds of frames a second. Look at that, it just starts like super high and then dies. I think we want it per scene. Honestly, which means that we're going to want to have a super. Uh, I think this he had like a base sprite on oh, no, we just like, okay so yeah we want like a a super so it takes client and then we do oh no, I've got about half an hour okay self dot client equals client uh, self dot wind equals client dot wind and then self dot load and then each one is gonna have like something different. I think we do actually need this to be an abstract base class because everything needs something different. So I think we I think we do actually want this to be an ABC because <laughs> we want to make sure that something is actually implemented. Uh, ABC dot ABC meta. And then, yeah, we want to... 
Okay. Not implemented error. It's kind of the weird thing about ABCs, but this will mean that because all of these things are like entirely necessary. And they're like all different for every single one. So you might as well just do this. Draw, although in all fairness, we could probably. All right, see you later, Cider. We could probably do uh, just like return events here. <laughs> And then we could just call the super if we really need to. Uh, and that needs the delta. And then the draw doesn't need anything, does it? No. It does not. Okay. Uh, so. Okay. So now we can have our frames and our thing in here. Whoops. So we now have a self dot dot frames equals naught and self dot timer equals naught. Uh, and then we have you know a property of def fps uh, takes self. That is a return frames over timer over 1000. And then we set timer because we're, we're already working with a timer here. So in this, we just update a timer by the delta and then update the number of, and then in the draw, we update the number of frames. And then that should work. It doesn't. Main scene is no attribute frames because it doesn't inherit yet. Uh, so this is just a super dot in it, pretty much. And this one, we don't need the time, we don't need this, we just need the super dot in it. We also need to pass the client through. We do need the score separate. Uh, the load is already handled for us, and then we need to load in the snack. It takes exactly one argument, the argument to initialize. Hmm, okay. Or oh, the instance to initialize. Why is that being weird? Oh, because I still didn't overload it. <laughs> also, I still didn't subclass it, sorry, there we go. Okay, the FPS is going weird again. Okay, I really don't know why that is. I also don't know why the FPS is that high, considering that we have an F FPS cap active. <laughs> How did I miss that? Oh no, are we off center? Oh, something's gone horribly wrong. The collisions are turned off. What? Oh, we've, we've gone off center. Something has anyway. Okay. So there is an issue. So we are gonna change the thing back and <laughs> we're gonna fix resolution based errors later. Because right now the thing doesn't fucking work properly. Uh, welcome John to the stream, hope you're doing okay. Yeah, we have a somewhat working GUI. The score and the time work, the FPS counter I think is wrong. <laughs> uh, we also fixed one or two bugs. Um, oh, okay, it's fine, everything's fine. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, 
So the question is, like, are we getting 60 FPS, like the FPS cap says, or are we getting 103? Which I really don't think we are, because we're continually dropping and the game isn't getting any slower or anything. I just think something is, like, wrong. Something is very definitely wrong with this. Um, yeah, because the max FPS is 60, and we're still we're still limiting ourselves to 60. So we don't need this anymore. Uh, oh wait, it's going still going off the client one, isn't it? So we need to redo the text to go off our one so, so client yeah self.fps frames is not defined because we need to do self.frames there you go self.frames and then self.timer Float division by zero. That's very unfortunate. Okay, so it's, it's seemingly doing it before it actually ever does its first update. Which, somehow, actually, I don't know how. Because zero divided by something should be fine. Yeah, you know, uh, zero divided by one should just be zero. Why in the world is that? Because the cell dot timer should be okay, unless it's really not. Unless the first delta returns zero, which is a possibility. Whoops. Which it does. Okay, that that makes that makes sense then. So I guess we'll do. God damn it! Um, for yeah, for some reason, then the, the delta. For some reason, then this delta is returning literally zero, which makes perfect sense. I've also just thought we already have a clock instance enabled, <laughs> so we probably could do print self dot clock dot fps and it will actually probably work. Oh, we get FPS as a method. Although I don't, I don't think we ever saved it. Oh, the, it's currently infinity. Oh, that's good, isn't it? The FPS is it's a ten thousand infinity all the time. So no, we can't use that. The Pi game clock is terrible anyway. <laughs> um, it's legitimately awful. So I guess, all right, I guess we'll just do try and then accept. We'll, we'll, do, we'll do it like this for now. Zero division error just returns zero. It's returning zero like all the time, isn't it now? Okay, well, this is fun. I'm gonna get rid of these dots. So why I'm presuming that the delta is just always being passed through. Oh no, the delta is being passed through something. So the timer is going up. Welcome back, Walk X. Was been added while you were gone. I think the entire GUI <laughs> was added. I don't know if you were here for that bit. Uh, I think actually you might have been here for the score, but we've now got a time and a broken FPS counter. Okay, so the timer is actually going up as intended. The, the FPS is so low. <coughs> and I don't know why that is. Maybe if you get rid of this, 
it would be like a more run more respectable figure. Oh, there we go. Okay, I think I think that's fixed now. I think it was just the fact that it was trying to divide by it by a further thousand. So we're getting a very solid 59 FPS. Or 59 point something, presumably. Can you make the FPS show with a... Just for the show negative FPS. <laughs> that would actually be kind of funny. I mean, considering that we've got... Time and Skrr... I think that could actually be pretty funny. Uh, there you go. <laughs> I'm going to run it to one and see what we get. Fifty-eight point six. Oh, so we actually get less than sixty. I do wonder if we upped the FPS count, would we actually get higher FPS? If it's kind of locked at that. Oh, we do! But, so we get minus 111 now. I am so confused. It's a very consistent minus 111. It's not minus, is it? <laughs> um... Okay, so I want to basically remove um, I want to remove the cap completely and just see what crazy insane FPS we get. We get about 400 and something out of this at the moment. That's not bad at all. And because of the way the delta works, uh, our snake moves at the same speed, and it still looks like it's at, at three FPS. When it's this. It's probably not the worst game to explain FPS, but yeah, that FPS counter would be pretty handy to have in this series. So about four hundred and sixty-nine FPS. Oh, look how smooth it looks, though. When it gets up to some good speed, it actually look pretty smooth. Oh, our FPS is going down. Going back up again. Okay, now I want to show you what would happen if we removed these checks and just rendered the, the text every string. Because I, th I reckon we're going to lose about 150 FPS here. We didn't lose any FPS at all. Are you serious? How are we not losing FPS off the... Okay, maybe the rendering was uh, optimised quite a bit in Python in Pi Game 2. Uh, Logitech K740. is the keyboard I have. Oh, we are losing some. Okay, we lost about 10 FPS to the the uh, to the rendering. Interesting. I mean, it's probably just loud because I'm quite heavy on it, and my microphone is quite sensitive to background noise, as you can probably tell by the computer fan. Okay, yeah, we are. Yeah, it has definitely dropped FPS, although we are still running at 400. <laughs> but I'm going to keep every optimization we have. I wonder where we would get more FPS. I kind of wonder if we could at this this point. Um, it seems, I mean, 
400 and something FPS is pretty optimized. Uh, if we if we turn the the resolution down, we get more out of it. So 840 by that'd be eight. Eight is it? Eight? Oh, it's uh, sorry, it's, it's 640 by 480, isn't it? So if you turn it like right down, we probably get like a lot more FPS. Actually, maybe not. Okay, we we definitely do. <laughs> Holy crap! Now getting fifty. We're now getting one thousand four hundred FPS. That's crazy. Yeah, so the resolution has like a huge impact. And I know why. Because we haven't done our main optimization yet. There's still one optimization that we need to do. And this optimization should. So this is currently running at 1480. Uh, at 1280 by 720, that was a really lucky hit there. If 1280 by 720 is um is a uh, about 400 and something FPS. Whoa, we're getting close to our own tail now. Oh my god. Then uh, I reckon that after our little optimization that we do, I'm trying so hard to get this apple. Um, we should be able to hit maybe about 2,000 FPS. So we, we sh in theory, we could quintuple our FPS. I think. Um, it does kind of depend on a few things. But in theory, we could actually get into the 2Ks. It's, it's more just to kind of show you the FPS figure rather than... Um, but I have a 60 hertz screen. <laughs> Um, yeah, literally, why not? So, so we're going to try and blast this number as high as we can. Um, and we're going to do that in this, in the window blit. Uh, I have about 15 minutes <laughs> to try and figure this out. So we have, you know, so in theory, to the Rex. Okay, so and then we pass in the Rex. Because if we do, if we give the update, um, display the update, we can pass in a series. You know, we can we can pass in a list. Um, and what we can do is we can essentially only draw those squares rather than the whole screen. So currently we're, you know, we're not passing in anything. So the, actually this really needs to be that, doesn't it? Um, so we're updating the entire screen. However, we can change this so we store the like the rectangles that we had before. So we, so we can basically store the, the snake's previous position, the apple's previous position, and then I think the UI as well. You might have to like ignore the UI for now. Actually, to be fair, we're not gonna get this system done in 10 minutes. So <laughs> we'll come back to that later. But right now, uh, I don't know what else we can do in 10 minutes, honestly. So we currently got, we have a menu that actually, you know, we can work on centering the menu properly. Um, so it'd be self dot, you know, window, that'd be snack, sorry, snack dot window height. Snack dot window height. Um, window height. Uh, the hundred, and then we need to do subtract. So the window height at the moment would be. No, we want to do times by, say, zero point three. And then we want to do this, um, like times by maybe zero point four, zero point five, or something. Because if we do it by a multiple of it, then we can essentially just put it in the same place regardless of the resolution. That's not gone well. Uh, 
That was weird. Why has why that happened? <laughs> the window height times by 0 0.3, so it should put it like. Unless it wants an int. Does it want an int? I can't imagine it wanting an int. No. I suppose this doesn't actually matter then, really, does it? That's weird. <laughs> Uh, because it's just uh, it, it shows in the help because it's a register command it just brings up a list of all of them why is it not showing that's really weird but if I put it like say I don't know 500 or something it will show up or not it just won't do anything now Amazing. Oh, you know what we're doing? We're not updating the screen because... <laughs> Whoops. I updated this. That's what the problem was. There we go. Yeah. I, I was being dumb. Uh, so I can go back and then update. Do it. Yeah. Okay. So, so the play game needs to be like a little off the bottom. And this needs to be like maybe a little under that. Okay. Yeah. And then this can be 0 0.4, and then we probably have a menu that looks okay. Does that looks somewhat centered to you. It's alright to me. Probably throw it like it's difficult to like center the whole thing. But so are you, Emily? <laughs> um. What is going on? <laughs> so I guess that is that looks fine, I suppose. And then, <laughs> the FPS <laughs> for the win. It does make you wonder how many FPS we get on the menu. Um, I just suppose we can't really. I suppose we can. Um, this is what we're going to do. We're going to have an FPS thing on the menu. Self to FPS count. Also, F FPS. Thing. We're just going to like quickly mess around with this. Yeah, a host of a Volto. Uh, FPS equals zero. And then just put it like at the bottom and make, maybe we'll make it like 50 or something. And then we'll do. Uh, Uh, FPS text. If you update, uh, so it'll be uh, self dot frames plus equals one, and update uh, self dot timer plus equals uh, delta, and then we'll see just how much how much FPS we get on the menu. If I actually bothered to uh, <laughs> update the text. Uh, one second while I just grab the text from here. <clears throat> and shove it on here. Oh, why? Why, why are you doing this? Going up somewhat. We're actually getting less in the menu, I guess because the text, text, you know, text is more taxing and so we're getting less FPS. If you go in here, then we get like 460 something. So we actually get more in the game than we do in the menu because there's less text to render. But in theory, that shouldn't be an issue. Maybe it's doing more in the event hand, I don't know. Either way, I mean, 400 is quite a lot, but we can up that even more. Uh, we can definitely up that even more. <laughs> so 
So if I now go to the init and I change the resolution to maybe like 640 by 480 again, uh, then you get... There's probably some more work to be done with the, the menu centering. <laughs> it's a little bit better and you just get stupid amounts of FPS. Look at this. Um, you might have to create some sort of like scalable UI uh, I really don't know. Yeah, at, at some point we're going to have to... Okay, so the things we still need to do... We still need to do, like, a board. So we need to, like, separate the UI from the board. And we need to have, like, a custom, like, board size. That's a, oh my goodness. Oh my word. Uh, we need to make the game look a bit prettier. We need to optimize it even further using the rect uh, updates thing. And we need to add sounds. And we need to add like a game over and a pause screen. Let's see how googly it is. <laughs> that could actually be kind of funny. Um, I was considering like updating like the, the head and the tail sprite that it uses, so. It could certainly do that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to reset our... Yeah, yeah, we don't need the max FPS now that we're not actually limiting it. But I, I will keep that in the client commented out just in case people do want to add a limit to their to their game when they actually do it. We need a, we need a to-do, so I'm going to make a to-do here. So we need to do, uh, do the rect update thing. We need to... Add sound and music. We need to add game over screen. Uh, add ability to pause, which would just be another scene. Uh, uh, these two would be other scenes, so I'm just gonna put a scene in here. And then um, make it pretty. <laughs> probably be the last thing um well the apple actually has like a sprite and i'll show you real quick we've still got like two minutes left so i reckon i can uh let's move just move get all these out of the way is this still playing no it's not okay good uh so there's a sprite up here somewhere i could probably load into the game real quick uh there it is Open original. So we need to save. Oh my god, the image is actually so small it physically will not let me save it. There we go. Uh, so data, Cobra. Nope. Programs. GitHub, Cobra. Play game tutorial, assets, sprites, and then apple.png. Replace that. If you run the game again, uh, then. Oh, hello. Oh, the render, the render interval. We, we don't want that at all. You can see there's our apple though. It's the same color as the snake. You can see we have like our, our apple there. Very small, but yeah. Uh, but we'll do more work on like um, actually making it prettier later. I think I might change the sprite back for now. Just so you can kind of see it better, and then we'll be going to like the the more the the, the graphic design. I guess we'll do it then. Uh, but that is gonna do for today's stream. Uh, we, got, we had a lot of people watching this one. It's actually really cool. Um, none of my friends are online again, which is kind of annoying because I want to be able to rate them at some point. Is there any like small programming channels going? Yes, it's a channel called Programming. <laughs> Literally a channel called Programming. That's interesting. There's someone doing game dev here. Also someone doing the modeling for it at the moment. Feel like raiding them? <laughs> so we do... 
there isn't really anyone else programming live at the moment, so I guess I guess we have like one choice. Um, I'll do it off stream. We're not doing it on stream. So uh, if I go into OBS real quick, and if I make sure, okay, so the audio output for the desktop is turned off. So you shouldn't be able to hear the stream. Just do that. Uh, and then we like switch, switch that. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'm just trying to get it. There we go. In a way that works. Right. Cool. So, uh, thanks everyone for stopping by in the stream. Uh, and I will see you next time where we're going to start with, I, I might put it to a poll, uh, potentially. Uh, is that the right channel? About whether we like continue with the game dev series until we're done, or we go into Python, um, you know, image requests and stuff. But uh, until next time. <laughs>